Marquis de Fils, the Gerger, the Pedro and the Marquis. This is what our talent looks like in the Republic of Botswana. But it's in the other hand, I think we have a possibility. I'm known by my peers as though I'm not proud of that. And I'm not alone this afternoon. I'm with my great sister friend, Ross Katotsiamo. We will be um, your MCs or on the session of Mother's Milan here. Let me start by acknowledging the Minister for Nationality, Immigration and Gender Affairs, Honorable Mayor Anam Kreti, Makabu Family and the Kreti Family, Minister of um, Youth Empowerment, Sport and Culture, Development, uh, Honorable Tunisia Rakari. Uh, let me also acknowledge all the members of Parliament here present, uh, Creative and Entertainment Industry, Badirahas Borke, classmates across the country and the region joining us virtually. And I should say, all protocol observed. Just to begin, we'd like to invite the members of this family to come and light the candles. While um, we wait uh, for the candles to be lit, Ross, you've got some house uh, rules that you'd like to share with us, right? Right. Everybody that will be joining us on stage, we'd like to invite you to swing by our sanitation station and do the right thing. Thank you. Please let us observe all COVID protocols and ensure that our masks are on and that uh, uh, and our uh, social distancing we should keep sanitizing and uh, let's keep those masks on uh, throughout. Still to come on the program, Ross? We are going to welcome Pastor Mbaki of the Christian Revival Church, Ms. Messi Rabaunet Hebe, Limcoquin University of Creative Technology Director of Communications and PR, Beba President, Mr. Gilbert P.P. Seafile, Bomu President, Mr. Fresh Lesokwane, Bomu Women's Wing President, Ms. Zenzela Hirschfeld, and Industry Captains and Princes. Um, let us ask an humble request uh, the presence of Pastor Mbaki from CRC Church uh, to come and join us. While uh, the pastor joins us on stage here, and then we are sitting on the paper from Lincoln University, um, please get ready to join us on stage. Um, pastor, over to you. Good afternoon. Allow me to say, um, am I on? Is it on? So. All right, uh, apologies for that. I couldn't uh, hear myself. Allow me to say uh, protocol has been observed this afternoon, even though I would like to observe uh, the family Tona and the family from the Kredi side. I'm standing in for my senior pastors, uh, Pastor JJ and Pastor Hannah, this afternoon who are engaged in other matters. Pastor JJ led uh, yesterday's memorial service at our church, a very intimate Indeed, I'm not going to try and talk about Sasa class uh, today because I saw the program. So many people are lined up to come and talk about her life. And I just want to correct something. I'm not the, uh, the senior pastor of Christian Revival Church. I'm one of the assistant pastors. Sasa class came to our church uh, a couple of uh, years ago. When she came to our church, she first came into the evening services with her friends. And uh, what they would do is that uh, they would sit at the back and they would put some hoodies on. You know, being there, maybe they didn't want to be recognized. You know, it's famous people, 
They don't sit at the back and they would not want anything to do with anybody. And as your pastor will preach, come to salvation time, they'll go through the doors and go home. But they'll do that for weeks. They'll do that for weeks. Now, as I was, I wanted to come and talk about talent this afternoon as we are celebrating a life. But I couldn't help it because it's a message that's just in my heart. So many people right now, if you look at social media, I think the question is, why her? At that very young age, you know, for some is uh, what happened. Maybe some of these questions, people are seeking closure, especially, you know, the, the parents. But I think the bottom line, I think what we need to now remember is this. Life is a dash. Life is like a, a vapor. Life is so unpredictable. No one really knows the day. I'm sure that Sasa was working on something in the studio somewhere. Studio somewhere. It's so painful to lose a loved one. You know, when you lose a loved one, you have so many thoughts and emotions that go through you. You know, hate being one of them. You know, you can go through somebody's heart. Revenge, just to mention, but a few. But let me just take, take you to the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, he said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. So as I'm speaking uh, this afternoon, I just want to encourage you, especially those who are grieving in their hearts, the family in particular. The quicker you can get to that place of mourning, the better because Jesus says, you shall be comforted. As I'm speaking, you know, Benjamin Franklin said, in this world, nothing is certain but death and taxes. We are all taxed, and one day, all of us, we are going to be gone out of this world. Everybody's turn is coming. It could be through sickness or disease, car accident, whatever it may be. I mean, we are living in a world of the pandemic today. You know, what is, what perplexes my heart sometimes is this, even young people as well, when they're still full of vigor, God decides to take them to heaven as well. Why? I don't have an answer. But this is a portion that we all must learn to accept. We must also learn to accept when God does something like this. We don't just accept material blessings from God. But when God has ruled and decided that it is better this way, we are only but to, uh, to mourn. We must live prepared because we don't belong in here. To many of us, I want to say this. Put your trust in God. This invisible God will carry you through this. This too shall, it shall pass. I know in my heart that we can't do anything that can bring Sasa back. Her spirits, her memories will live forever with us. But this we must accept and put our trust, our hope in the living Lord, Savior, Jesus. I'm going to close with a small passage. When I thought about her story, because I think she represents many, many people, especially people who are in the creative industry who are here. In the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 10 to 14, it talks about two men. One man was very religious, and he believed in his own religion. Another man looked at himself, and he saw himself as a sinner. But both of them, they got into the presence of God. So in the scripture it says, two men went into the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other was a despised tax collector. Nobody wanted to do anything with them. The Pharisee stood by himself. He prayed this prayer. I thank you, God, that I'm not like other people. Cheaters, sinners, adulterers. I'm certainly not like a tax collector. I fast twice a week and I give you a tenth of my income. I tell you what, many, many people, they can't keep up with this. They can't match with this. When you speak like this, so many people want nothing to do with you. But the tax collector stood at a distance, and he dared not even lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest in sorrow, saying, Oh God, be merciful to me, for I am a sinner. You know, the picture that I have in my mind is when Sasa class first started coming to church. And they'll sit at the back and put some hoodies in there. I tell you for sure, 
they didn't feel com comfortable to be, to be in church, maybe because of what stories they've had in the past. Verse 14 says, I'll tell you this, this sinner, not the Pharisee, returned home justified before God. Another scripture says, they went home right with God. So I just want to challenge all of you. This one I know I can stand for. I can vouch for Shasa. One morning, beautiful morning as Pastor JJ was preaching, she got out of her seat. She no longer sat at the back. When I looked at behind me, she was in row number two or row number three. She went to the front and she declared, you know, her, her Lord, Jesus to be a Lord and a personal Savior. Ever since that day, whenever I saw her in church, I saw a different person. She was now in her own journey with God. And when she gave interviews, she would say, I'm a child of God. When people would ask her, who, who is Sasa? She would say, I've got many factors to my life, but one thing, I'm a child of God. So as we are here celebrating her life, I just wanna, want you to think about your relationship with God. Jesus says, taste and see that the Lord is good. What we know in the scriptures is this. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. This we can stand for, Sasa. We can vouch for her that she prayed the sinner's prayer, that she believed in her heart that Jesus is in a personal Lord and Savior. Any other thing we can stand for, but this we know. She prayed this prayer. What about you this afternoon? We are left here. What about you? I just want to challenge you now. Let's all bow our heads and we pray as we open the event this afternoon. Father, we thank you. As we are here, God, celebrating the life of Sasa, we thank you that your presence is here, Lord. We thank you, God, for wisdom of Father that prevails. God, I thank you that you open our eyes, oh God, for those who do not know you yet. I pray, Lord, that you minister to them. You provoke their hearts that they will start pursuing you the way Sasa was pursuing you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, Maruti. Uh, um, ladies and gentlemen, you know we live in very, very tough times and challenging times. I would humbly request uh, our speakers today to just take a maximum of two minutes. Uh, simply because we have to observe all COVID protocols. Uh, two hours uh, is also here. I acknowledge your presence, sir. Uh, also from uh, thank you very much sir, for making it. I know we are streaming live uh, via different platforms and including um, the radio station. Uh, I also see nature, my beautiful neighbor. Uh, nature's been my neighbor in phase one for the longest time. And I know it's a very tough time for you right now. Let's just put it all in the Lord. Can we please welcome or ask um, uh, the BEPA president, Re uh, Kipi, to come in and give a welcome note right after that. Come on stage, thank you. My president, the Barwe, the Barwe, the Barwe, the Barwe, the Barwe, the from Minister of Youth Empowerment, Sports and Culture, he Parliament Parliament Union. Uh, President Re Pemelo Lesopan, and take a little more than Missy Tabe, a Kebasadi Bell and Warrekebasadi, Harabasadi, Lemme Zenzel Hesfield. 
me motsadi ya me eh nte ke go lemoge me ana Maria Mogheti ile marona yo On behalf of Bosana Promote. Had the reason the uh, we are proud of the industries in the cloud. We are proud uh, when Lazarus was ten months without making any income, Renali didn't do. So, if you look at the labour force, the industry. Na hala jalo, hake na hubu asipe hala se siyiti. So, muta mai satiro. Kabu fefela. The poem that I love so much by the, young, by the young man by the name of Amanda Goldman, given at the Joe Biden inauguration. One of my favorite posh, even as we try.